suck. This is my second intro. First one I did, I was in slow mo on accident, but I just want to show you guys my new uh, kayak. I got the uh, 2020 Mocha and 10 V2 version 2 in the uh, fire camo hot ride. Uh, not a bad price, and overall, I'm very pleased. I haven't got to take it out yet, but just by fooling around with it, putting my stuff on it, and uh, the weight and everything of it, and I'm amazed by it. It's very lightweight to be such a big boat, but uh, hang on, and I will show you guys. Stay tuned. Here she is. I don't have the seat out here. I got it in the house, but uh, I'll get it in a minute. I was just going to show you the actual ride. What I got done so far. I still got to put my anchor trolley on there. But uh seat goes here. There's your standing platform and the little strap to help you get up. And it's got like a little console. And then it's opened up up here. I mean literally the only difference between this and the lure is the lure has a hatch. But honestly I think I like this little open spot more. I mean on my other kayak, I literally only thing I ever put in there was my battery. Nothing else. I mean, in like this, I got my life jacket in there, and then I got my battery box. I made it a little different battery box to use. And then uh, I got this to hold my kayak, which it's got straps back here for your pedal. I mean, paddle on the wife hold my kayak. But uh, that's for my paddle. And it's got a strap on each side if you want to put the battle on the back. Two rod holders. And it's got this big open spot for a crate. I got my crate over there. I spray painted it again black. And uh, it's got a place for a rudder. You got handles. You got that handle that's made on there. And then the molded handle. Molded handle on each side. Right here. Molded handle up front. And... It's got the wheel on the back, so it rolls so very easy. And then on this side over here, I got, this is where I'm gonna put my fish finder. That's where I'm gonna put my transducer arm. So I'm um, set up, ready to go. Hopefully in the morning, I'll be able to take this bad boy out. That's a very pretty boat. That's for sure, I love this fire camo. But uh, I'm gonna get this trolley, or anchor trolley on here and uh, I'll put the seat and everything on it and show you guys when I'm done with it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I am finished. Uh, as you can see, anchor trolley. I didn't run all the way up to the front because the uh, nose kind of goes up like that. And it would have threw the uh, cordway off, but I think that would be fine to hold me. And uh, this is the seat. This is the high position, and you got to uh, loosen the strap up to do it. I don't have a strap, but that's the low. And it raises up for the high. This seat is actually very, very comfortable. It's got a nice, good padding right there. It's got a good support. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. How it uh, goes back, rolls back for support. And uh, that's how I got my fish finder set up and the uh, transducer. The arm flips up and down. You can move it and get it out of the way real quick. That's the reason I went with that instead of uh, trying to mount one somewhere. Overall, I think it's going to be a good boat. And I will be taking it out bright and early in the morning, hopefully. If I can find some water, that's not a mud hole. But uh, I didn't use the little uh, triangle. I always use one of these so I can clip my anchor in and out real easy. You don't have it all attached together. But overall, I think this is going to be an awesome boat. Uh... Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. If you haven't, please uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, smash the like button and drop me some comments. 
And if you haven't, go back and enter my giveaway video doing a mystery uh, fishing gear box. Be good, full of uh, some goodies that you guys will enjoy. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.